Hi everybody, how are you? We had such a good lesson yesterday that I've decided to come back with my friend. Can you remember his name? That's right, it's Nama. So you've got Mrs. Cooper and Nama with you again today. Say hello. Nama says hi. Right, so we've been learning music. Now, the great thing about music is we said there's lots of different things to learn about it and we learned some, and have been learning some new words. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to warm up our voices like we did yesterday. So do you remember that I said, I go first, then you. We do funny voices. So me first, then you. Are you ready? Here we go. Onion bhaji chicken stew. Good. That's a food for me and you. You like eggs and chips and beans. You never eat your Sunday greens. Perfect. So now we're going to take it down a little bit lower. I'm going to go down lower now. So are you ready, Nama? Nama's ready. Are you guys ready? Thumbs up. Excellent. Onion body chicken stew. That's a food for me and you. You like eggs and chips and beans. You never eat your Sunday greens. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. Let me go a little bit higher. Onion bhaji chicken stew. That's food for me and you. You like eggs and chips and beans. You never eat your Sunday greens. Brilliant. Now we're going to go loud. Onion bhaji chicken stew. That's food for me and you. You like eggs and chips and beans. You never eat your Sunday greens. Excellent, guys. Well done. Great job. Okay, so our voices are warmed up. So today you are going to meet just yourself again, your voices and your body. But it's always a good idea, especially when you're doing singing, to have a drink. So I've got to drink a squash of me just in case I need one. Sometimes I get, might need to cough, so I need a drink just to help me. Okay, that's all you're going to need today. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and share my screen with you. Let's see how successful we can be. Here we go. Ready, hopefully. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Hooray, I'm in the corner. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, so we've done a warm-up. The first thing we're going to do today is recap. That new word we learned yesterday, who can remember what it is? Who can remember that new word we learned yesterday? Can you remember Nama? Hmm, Nama's thinking. Oh, Nama thinks he knows. Do you know? Should we have a look? That's right. Nama was right. Were you right, guys? Let's sound it out together. Ready? Pitch. 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 That's right, the new word we learned yesterday was pitch. Can you say pitch? Oh, no, that was a bit squeaky. Can you say pitch? Pitch. That's right, pitch. Today's word is pitch. P -i -t -ch. Pitch. Fantastic. Right, so the next question is what is pitch? Have a think. What is pitch? Have a think. Hmm. Do you know, Nama? Nama thinks he knows. Do you know? Tell me. Oh, well done, Nama. Nama says pitch is about how high or how low the sound is. Is that what you said? If you did, give us a thumbs up. Well done, that's right. Pitch is all about how high or how low a sound is. Now, yesterday I set you a bit of a task. I said, when you go after our lesson, can you have a look around your house for things that make high and low sounds. Did you have a go? Don't worry if you didn't, because I've had a look too. <coughs> and I'm going to try and show you some of the things that I've got. Now, hopefully this is going to work because I've had a few troubles. So, first one I've got is a doorbell. Now, I'm gonna have to reshare this with you. So here we go, let's try it, ready? Let's see, I want you to listen. Can you hear a high sound or a low sound? Can you hear both? Does it go high to low? Does it go low to high? Listen to this sound, I'm gonna play it and then I'm gonna 
do a new share with you. <clears throat> Where is it? Here we go. Is it going to share? Oh, it's already started. Let's try it again. Okay, here. Oh, keeps going again. Ready? Here we go. Did you work out what the pitch was? Listen one more time. Is it high to low? Because there are two sounds, aren't there? There. Makes two sounds. Does it go high to low? Ding dong. Or does it go dong ding? Do you think did it go high to low or low to high? Tell me. Fantastic. I'm going to stop sharing that with you and go back to the screen. Nama said it went ding dong high to low. Is that what you said? Ding dong. Excellent. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, what's the next item I've got? So I found a doorbell. Did your doorbell do that? I think. Maybe you might need to go and press it and see what noise it makes. Oh, what have we got next? Oh. Ah, we've got a microwave. So, have you got a microwave at your house? I use my microwave to heat up some food sometimes, like heat things up, okay? What noise does it make? Does it make a low pitch sound? Does it make a high pitch sound? Does it make more than one sound? Have a good listen. Right, this time, I'm going to click it. I'm going to, oh my goodness, I can't do a new share with you. Let me try it again. Let's try again. It's, it's got ahead of itself. Let's try it again. Start from the beginning. Ah, here we go. Oh, listen again for me. Oh. So, can you tell me how many sounds did you hear? Fantastic! Nama said he heard two sounds. Did you hear two sounds? Brilliant! There was the first sound, and then there was the second sound, the beeping sound. Are you ready? So, was it low to high or high to low? Fantastic! Well done. Nama said it started off low with a mm, excellent, and then the beeping sound was a high sound. Beep, beep. Let's listen to it one more time. Brilliant effort, guys. Well done. So the next time you, oh, sorry, guys. Next time you put something in the microwave or you hear your mum and dad or someone put it in the microwave, have a listen. Does it make those sounds too? Great. Okay, I'm just going to share my screen back again with you because I haven't got the smart board on. Here we go. Okay, now yesterday we started talking about all the different things that make sounds. And I'm going to show you a picture. This is a picture of an orchestra. Okay, and an orchestra is a place where there are lots of instruments that play together all at once and they're led by a conductor. And when they play together, they sound beautiful. You might have heard an orchestra play, you might have seen them play on the TV. But this is a picture of how they sit. Okay, and what's really important to know about pitch is that every single instrument can play lots of different pitches. So like my voice doesn't just stay at one pitch, does it? I can make high, low, middle. I can make lots of different sounds. And that's the same with lots of different instruments. All the instruments in an orchestra make their own sound, but they make different pitches too. So one instrument might make lots of really low sounds, but it can also make high sounds too. Another instrument might be able to make even higher sounds and not so much low sounds. So what we're gonna do is have a quick look at some of the instruments in an orchestra, because actually, sometimes it's really hard to see them in the picture and not know what they actually sound like. Sometimes there are instruments there that I've never heard been played. So what I'm gonna do is click on the next page and show you some, okay. So the first instrument I'm gonna show you is this one here. Hopefully you can see my mouse pointing it, it's called a violin, okay. Let's have a look. Now, a violin is a stringed instrument and it's going to play a song for us. Hopefully, what I'll do is click on it and then share the video with you. Can you share? Here we go. Are you ready? Let's have a look. Here we go. It's 
some high notes there. Do you recognize this song, Into the Unknown? Okay, I'm going to stop there. So a violin is a stringed instrument. It can make some very high-pitched sounds. Can't it in there? And you'll see that she rests it on her chin and she plays it with a bow. That's our violin. I'm going to do a new share with you and see if we can get another video. So let's have a look. So next, we're going to have a look at another instrument. The next instrument is this instrument here. Now, this is called a woodwind instrument. Okay, it's in the blue and it's called a flute. Let's see what the flute's going to play, shall we? Oh, I'm going to do my stop share. Hold on. I'm going to do my new share. Sorry, guys. Uh, here we go. Hopefully you'll see it. You might recognise this one as a Havana by Camila Cabello. Okay, so you'll see here that she blows into her instrument as she holds it to the side. She blows into it and to make the different notes, she keeps the, she blows into the mouthpiece and then she plays the different buttons there, presses them and they make different sounds and that's a flute. What I'm going to do is stop sharing that with you. Let's say there we go. And go back to my screen. Are you ready for another instrument that's in the orchestra? Okay. I wonder whether this instrument's going to make really high pitch sounds or really low pitch sounds. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. And hopefully, I, I think when it comes up, it's going to. I'm going to do a new share with you. Here we go. Ready. Let's have a look. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm just going to skip this one a little bit more in. Okay. So this man is playing the trombone. I wonder if you can recognize the song he's gonna play. Do you recognize the song? See if you know it. Do you recognize the song that was Happy by Pharrell? So this is a trombone and it's like the flute where you have to blow into it, okay? So you have to use your mouth to blow into the mouthpiece and then he moves this bit to make sounds and he pushes it out and pulls it in to make different sounds and that's the trombone. I'm going to stop my share and I'll take you back to the smart board very quickly. So as you can see all those different instruments make their own sounds and some make high sounds and low sounds, some make even higher sounds, some make even lower sounds that's the great thing about them and when they're together in the orchestra they sound brilliant <clears throat> there was a trombone there that we've just looked at the violin and the flute you might recognize some other instruments that we have in school fantastic excellent so today we're going to explore pitch <clears throat> so the first thing i'm going to do is i don't have any instruments here in my house and i'm i'm guessing some of you might have instruments but most of us might not so i've got a picture here of a keyboard and what i'm going to do is just click on my link now you're going to hear some clapping and some sounds, but unfortunately I can't get rid of that. But I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to share my screen with you. Right. I'll share my screen with you. You share. Here we go. Let's see. So hopefully, excellent. Let's go. Right, it's just going to be a little bit loud first of all, but we'll get there in a minute. So this is my keyboard. Okay. Now a keyboard is a smaller version of graphic piano. Okay. And what you'll see on there is there are lots of different keys, you click on keys. 
and each key plays a different note. Shall we have a look at them? I'm going to run my finger over each note and you're going to tell me the letter that's on there, okay? So let's read them together. Here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. What did you notice about those notes? Oh, tell me then, what did you notice? Excellent, Nama said they repeat themselves. They go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So there are three on here, three C's, three D's, three E's, three F's, three G's, three A's, and three B's. That was a tongue twister to say. So do you think then, if we look on the keyboard, I'm gonna just wave my mouse over the, the letters, the keys. That's a C there, that's a C there, that's a C there. Do you think they'll all be the same sound? Yes or no, tell me, what do you think? Oh, there's a mixture of answers there. Some of you say yes, some of you say no. Okay, well, let's have a look at our C here. Oh, I'm afraid it's gonna clap in the, and it's gonna talk in the background. Excellent, so there's the first one. Okay, do you think the next C, so there's my first C, the next C here, the middle C, do you think it's going to be higher, lower, or the same? What do you think? Make a prediction. Oh, Nama has a good answer. Nama says we think it's going to be higher because it's higher up on the keyboard. Shall we listen? So there's the first C. Hear it? Was it higher or lower? Higher or lower? Fantastic. Yes, it was higher. It went. Now tell me, do you think the pitch of the next C then is going to be higher or lower? Ready? Tell me. Lots of you saying higher. Fantastic. Great. So the higher up on the keyboard we go, the higher the pitch. So that means the lower we go, the lower the pitch. Fantastic. Brilliant. What we're going to do is we're going to move our bodies. Okay. I'm going to show you the keys on here. And we're going to move our bodies to show how the pitch changes. So you're going to need to stand up for this. Or well, you're not going to need to be on a chair anyway. And I'm going to duck down really, really low. Here we go. You're not going to be able to see me. Okay, we're going to move our bodies to the pitch. So if the notes get higher, you get higher. If they get lower, you get lower. Are you ready? Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, here we go. We're going to disappear. Here we go. Ready? Great. With me, guys. Stick with me. Oh. Reach up high. Oh, the way to the ceiling. Excellent. Can you go the other way? I'm back again. Fantastic effort. Great, so you moved with it. Let's just have a look at a couple of notes up here. So we know that my C starts low, middle, high. What about this C and this F? So my C is here, you'll see me waving around it, and my F is here. Do you think the C will be higher in pitch or the F? Have a guess, what do you think? Nama's really super clever at this. You tell me what you think. Brilliant. Some of you said the right answers yet. That sorry, a bit tongue tied there. Some of you said the right answers. Well done. You said the higher up on the keyboard, like we just learned, the higher the note. So therefore, the F must be higher. Shall we listen? There's a C. Here's the F. Brilliant. It goes higher. I'm not even going to try and sing that for you, but yes. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. So the notes on the keyboard go from this end. You can hear it getting higher in pitch. And make some high sounds. How about when we go backwards? High to low. Excellent job, everybody. Well done. Fantastic. 
brilliant. You are great at exploring pitch. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, so it's time for a review. I wonder if you can tell me then to answer this question what is pitch? What have you learned about pitch? Okay, can you tell me? Fantastic, everybody, well done, yes. Pitch is about how high or how low a sound is. And instruments can make different sounds, can't they? They can make high pitch sounds and low pitch sounds depending on how we play them, depending on the notes. Brilliant, well done. I want you to go and have a think. Can you think of your favorite songs from different films? Can you think of a song where the pitch changes from high to low or low to high? Listen out next time you are watching your favourite film. So guys, it's time to go. Great effort today. Bye.